All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? Thank you again for joining me on my overnight here. I'm out uh, in Washington, D.C. tonight uh, talking to you from my hotel room again. So <laughs> thanks again for joining me. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion where we left off last time. So uh, we've been moving down the, the left side of the upper um, or the overhead panel here on the Airbus. We have one small area left to talk about up here. So today's discussion will probably be a little bit shorter one. Uh, for you. So uh, it's it's this guy down here, the, the rain repellent and uh, wiper section on the overhead panel here. So um, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what, you know, each one of these buttons does, of course. And, you know, right off the bat, um, both the, the captain and the first officer side have their own control. So there's like a mirror image on the, the other side for the first officer to use. Right here, we're looking at the, uh, the captain's side of the panel. So you each kind of have individual control, first of all, um, over the, uh, the rain protection that you have on your windscreen. So uh, just uh, one small thing to tell you about there. So the, the rain repellent, uh, the first one on here, uh, on the left side here, what is this exactly? Um, in my opinion, this is actually one of the, uh, the coolest uh, features about the Airbus, as, as small as it may be. It is kind of unique. Um, I know there's some other aircraft out there uh, flying around that have um, you know a feature like this, but you don't see this a lot on a lot of airplanes. So um, what it is exactly is it's just um, this a little um, kind of post uh, thing that sticks up in front of the, the windscreen area there. And uh, it's actually just designed to discharge this rain repellent. So something like a, a Rain-X product that you might have used on your car before. It's, it's kind of the exact same thing, but it just it's designed to kind of shoot this liquid out into the windscreen. And it makes it um, kind of slippery, basically, so that the, the water theoretically doesn't adhere to the windscreen. And, of course, you have all this air moving by at a very fast speed. So... Um, you know, you, you press and hold the button down, and it just kind of continues to like squirt out onto the windscreen there, and you get a, a coating um, of this rain repellent onto the windscreen. It actually does like a really effective job of uh, keeping the windscreen clean. And, you know, I'll kind of tell you in a second here, you know, um, as we talk a little bit about the wipers, about why uh, my preference has actually been uh, uh, to use this rain repellent feature, uh, especially when we're flying. It actually works really good. I was kind of skeptical of it at first, but after you see it working a couple times, um, I think anybody would be a believer that it's kind of a superior way of uh, keeping a, a clean, um, you know, line of sight outside of the, the flight deck when you're trying to look forward and do whatever you got to do for the given phase of flight that you're in. So um, there's one thing also about this rain repellent system that I wanted to show you. So I took a picture um, inside the flight deck, and this is kind of neat uh, to see um, what this is, what we're looking at right now is the section uh, in the cockpit directly behind the captain's chair. So if you just turn around, there's a, there's a wall back there. And um, this bottle right here is actually where the, the rain repellent is stored inside the airplane. And you can kind of see it you know, flows down through this little valve mechanism here. And there's some, some piping that routes out to the, the front of the airplane, of course. But uh, it's just kind of an interesting thing to me that the designers of the airplane decided to put this in the flight deck. Uh, you know, most everything else that's serviced on the airplane, of course, is done from outside panels or doors or access areas or what have you. But this uh, this is just kind of unique. So you can kind of see here, I, I've opened the door um, so you could see the bottle inside here. But normally, um, this right here, I, I wish I had taken a picture of it closed as well, just so you could see what it looks like. But when you, when you close the door, you actually have this kind of little uh, plastic window here. And what that allows you to do is just... You know, during your pre-flight, you can take a quick glance in here. You can see where this um, this indicator, or the quantity indicator more specifically, is, is uh, sitting there. So you can just kind of tell if you needed more rain repellent uh, or not. Um, I've never seen that the maintenance folks need to change one of these, or I've never even seen an airplane with a write-up on it that you know where we needed to have it changed. So that just kind of leads me to believe that... Um, I don't think a lot of people are really using this on the regular. Uh, most of the guys that I've flown with, um, it is kind of almost like an afterthought. There's only been uh, a few guys that uh, seem to use it regularly. So for whatever reason, I mean, there's no right or wrong. It's just kind of a matter of personal preference. But um, that is what that system is all about. That's what it's there for. And uh, like we said, just a little bit of extra information for you um, on the, the rain repellent there. So... Uh, the next knob there that we'll come back and talk about is, of course, uh, very simply, it's just the, the wiper uh, knob here. And, uh, of course, we have uh, three positions here. There's an off, there's a slow, and a fast setting. And uh, right off the bat, so the, the windshield wiper itself, um, 
it is a lot like the windshield wiper on a car or on a vehicle or, or whatnot. It's just, you know, a, a motorized arm that kind of, of course, you know, sweeps across the windscreen with like a squeegee type rubberized thing on it that, uh, that wicks the water away. Um, one uh, limitation of the wiper system was we're not supposed to be using it above 230 knots uh, indicated airspeed. So, um, you know, we can use it when we're on the ground and, you know, when we're on approach, of course, if you've, you've slowed, you know, certainly to this point, which you, you absolutely would be, um, at any time you're on a final segment or a, um, if you were climbing out, you know, you could keep it on for a period of time until you accelerate the aircraft. But um, a couple things that uh, notes wise I had written down about the wipers to kind of share with you um, to add a little bit to our discussion because uh, windshield wipers aren't necessarily the most exciting thing in the world, I think. But uh, uh, right off the bat, one thing that you would notice about these wipers if you're using them is uh, they're actually very noisy. And, and they're noisy to the point where, as far as I'm concerned, it's, they're actually kind of a distraction. They're, they're really annoying to sit there and you know, keep on and, and uh, listen to continuously. So what a lot of guys will do is, you know, when we're on the ground taxiing around, you, know, you might turn the switch momentarily to the slower, fast position and just kind of get a few swipes on the windscreen there and kind of clean it off for a little bit. You might taxi around for a period of time and you'll kind of turn them off intermittently. Um, or, you know, some guys will use them, you know, right up into the point to where we're ready to start the takeoff roll. And, you know, of course, you know, you, when you start the takeoff roll, the aircraft is beginning from a standstill, but then as you pick up speed and you get air moving over the, the windshield there, it's, it's uh, just kind of naturally going to you know, fly off and, you know, you generally most of the time, unless you're taking off in very heavy rain, you have enough visibility to kind of, you know, see down the runway and you know, of course stay on the center line, all this kind of stuff until you, you rotate and take off. And on approach, um, once again, it's, it's kind of something that, you know, most of the time you're okay to go without them. I mean, you can still see, you know, the approach environment, you know, once you kind of break out of the clouds, of course, even if it is raining and we've got so many tools to let us know, you know, that we're um, still on the proper glide path you know, from inside the airplane and even, you know, most things you can see outside, it's, it's still adequate even without using the wipers. And once again, my observation is that, you know, a lot of times, you know, you're coming down through the rain, it can be kind of a, an, a challenging approach, you know, to some extent. And so, you know, just having that, that wiper there, you know, it's like this grinding, screeching, really obnoxious sound just continuously going off, uh, you know, in front of you there. It's, it's actually kind of, uh, ironically enough, uh, in my opinion, a little bit more of a distraction is actually absolutely necessary. And that's why I come back and I, I would say that the rain repellent is a superior, um, you know, uh, uh, part of the functionality to use there because, you know, you, you squirt the repellent on it and you don't have this continuous noise, you know, going on, um, you know, in, in the form of the wipers operating. And uh, the rain repellent actually does last for, you um, you know, a good period of time, I, I would say, you know, at least 30 to 60 seconds. So it's not like you're having to, you know, keep continuously um, spraying the windscreen down with the repellent there. So it's, um, you know, just, just kind of one thing, you know, about it. And of course, you know, with the rain repellent also, there is no airspeed limitation. So once again, most, most of the time, it's not really a, a big deal, you know, as far as like where we are in our airspeed, you know, profiles that we actually need to have this visibility out the forward um, portion of the windscreen there. So it might not always, you know, technically be an issue, but it's just like, you know, one small thing to add to the, the, uh, the argument that, you know, the, the rain repellent system is maybe a better one uh, in general to use. Um, the other, you know, kind of funny thing about the wipers is um, the coverage is actually not really that great. Um, interestingly enough, you know, when you, when you look at the windscreen and you, you look at the amount of area that you would just think uh, would actually be, you know, wiped off and covered continuously, it, it really... The, the wiper turns on and then just kind of focuses down into this little kind of real small, like, you know, pie frame portion of a looking like type thing, like something like that. It's actually really not uh, a huge um, portion of the windscreen that actually gets the, the full sweep from the, the wiper system there. So it's, it's just kind of, it's really funny. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're coming down once again in an approach and you're, you're kind of seeing the, the, the rain, you know, on both sides of where this little, you know, porthole that the, the airplane is kind of drawn out for you to, to look outside. Uh, it's just not a, a whole lot of coverage and protection as far as I'm concerned. So um, just a couple little side things about it. Um, once again, if you guys got any questions about it, hopefully that sheds a little extra light uh, outside of the obvious stuff you would have expected with the, the system like this. So um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you're all doing great. And uh, we'll talk to you again real soon.